it's challenging to be young in the mountains. When I think about what it's been like to live here and about my friends, they go through a lot of challenges and it's kind of hard for them to see positive outcomes. And it sucks that it has to be that way. They should be at the point where they feel like they can conquer anything or at least try to do something. And right now, especially at school, I find that a lot of kids, they deal with self-esteem issues, there's a lot of bullying, and there's a lot of issues that aren't being solved by even public education. So I find that it's challenging to be young in the mountains, to find opportunities for yourself and to help others, and to make a positive impact. It's not for everyone to be young in the mountains. When I think about being from here and living here and what it's like to be here, um, I think about the 30 minute long conversations I have with every other person in Walmart and I think of the people that without having much at all would give me the shirt off their back if I needed it. Um, I think about driving 30 minutes to an hour and even though that's a pretty far distance just to hang out with friends, I think about all the fun that I have here, all the different uh, shows and all the different events and things that I've been to here. Um, and I think about how I kind of think of this area as a well-kept secret and how I'm kind of okay with that because it's not for everyone and it shouldn't be for everyone. It should be for the people that are willing to take the bad with the good and to really appreciate the good because of it. It's complicated to be young in the mountains. Um, I grew up with like a good childhood, um, but I can't say the same for everybody else. But at, at the same time, like, you know, we didn't have a lot of money. I got things that I needed, like shoes, clothes, and all that. Um, but you know, like we grew up poor, and then there's other families that grow up rich, but they're miserable, like, or they're on drugs or something like that. So yeah, it's, it's complicated to be young in the mountains. It's inspiring to be young in the mountains. Um, I've learned a lot recently about the Appalachian history oh, just over the past couple of years, and that's really inspired me. Just honestly looking at the regional and cultural history of everything, it just really makes me want to like give back in a way to contribute to that to carry on the history, whether it's like um, musical or like, um, like spoken word stories, that kind of stuff. You know, it, just, it would just really, really pain me to see that disappear. It's interesting to be young in the mountains. Um, it's. I mean, it, it's not what you see in movies, it's not what you see in uh, like novels about teenage love stories or anything, it's not what you would think about. Uh, it might not be the American dream, but I think it's just as good here as anywhere else because, I mean, there are opportunities, but you have to work a little bit harder to find them. Um, you have to look a, a little bit harder to find things to do. Um, but, I mean, you make friends, and you meet people, and you learn things, and there's just this sense of pride and culture here that you know, is just so unique to the area and its history. Hmm. It is patient to be young in the mountains, I think, because uh, I think like a lot of teens now are like, you know, I gotta do this, I gotta do this, like all this, all this type of stuff, and like, just being like in the mountains, and like, surrounded by all the nature and the stuff, you like really like stop and like, you know, like take in everything. Or you have to stop and take in everything, you know, it's all, all around you. You gotta notice it, so I think patience definitely, it like, it slows you down kind of. Pay attention to the more like subtle things. It's good to be young in the mountains because, because um, we're perfect. <laughs>